Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome back to 15 Days of Minecraft. Yep, we are on uh, day 12 now, yes. Alright, the text is still there, but I don't need to keep pointing it out. Okay. Let's open the red box, and... Ooh, nether pants! These nether pants will go great with your cave game hoodie! <gasps> yes, this is what I've been wanting! Oh, yes! Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and welcome back to the 15-year journey now. Every other day, I've done pretty much everything except for one last section. Caves and cliffs. So that's what we are going to be doing. I mean, seriously, check it out. We've got the cake from the hub. We've got every aquarium sticker. Every alpha sticker. Every buzzy bee sticker. Every dimension sticker and every exploration sticker. So the last thing we have to do is find every sticker in Caves and Cliffs. Okay, but first, of course, I want to check the shop and see what else I can get now. Six more stickers to get the baby creeper, but I can summon the baby ghast or the baby piglin now. Oh, that's so cool. These were the more expensive ones that I couldn't summon last episode yesterday. So it's really cool to see that I can summon them now. Let's start with the piglin. Ooh, look at him! Baby! Hello! And of course, you know, uh, you can get a name tag and then an anvil and you can give him a name. You can even make them sit down or stand up to follow you. It's such a cool thing. Almost makes me wish they were just a part of modern Minecraft, like, regularly. Like, imagine uh, you kill a zombie and there's an 1000% chance. That you get a baby zombie that'll follow you around. Mojang, please consider adding these into the game. Now, what is the most fitting mob to bring with me into the cave? Well, certainly not the ghast. You come from the nether. Oh, that's so cool. Honestly, I was... I, I could technically bring a zombie. You know what? No, let's bring the ghast with me. I actually think that the ghast has the best look. And he's stuck behind the window. <laughs> okay, wait. Come this way. There he comes. And if you couldn't tell, I've actually dressed up. Because this is the last time we will be going on the map, I've put on the 15-year anniversary cape. And alongside that, I've changed my scarf to match the creeper cape. Check it out. Check out the creeper cape. Check out my scarf. That is awesome. All right. So me and my little baby guest are going to be doing the final part of the map that I have not done yet. Unless there's something secret waiting in the kitchen. Alright, caves and cliffs. Here we go. Alright. Caves and cliffs. Oh, wow. The caves and cliffs update introduced a new height limit. Previously, the world was contained between Y level 0 to 255. It's now Y levels negative 64 to 320 giving you even more room for exploration in every direction. Wow! See, I didn't even know that was the maximum height. Wow! 320! And of course, I already knew. It was in the negatives when the bedrock layer grows. Whoa, is there a way to turn it back into old Minecraft, possibly? No, that's okay. So wait, for comparison... Whoa. Right there, if I can make it say zero. Oh crap, I moved my mouse. But anyways, right there is where Bedrock would have spawned. But now, they've added in Deep Slate. That is so cool. Look at the ores. And the clouds. Clouds are always higher than you can actually reach. So it makes sense they'd be that far up. Oh, a cake. A sweet surprise in the Caves and Cliffs update. Candles can now be placed on cakes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cool. You know, maybe I'll try that at some point. Wow. Oh, and of course, let's see. The glow squids light up the ocean. And they let you light up uh, signs and frames. That is so cool. <laughs> I finally found a place to put my tree. There we go. We can leave it there. That's perfect. Okay. Whoa, check it out. Steve's going mining and he's about to lose because he's got no armor and he's faced off against a spider jockey and two creepers. You're going to lose that pickaxe, buddy. Whoa. Take control of the elements and protect your creations from thunderstorms with a trusty lightning rod. 
Disclaimer, no sieves were harmed in the making of this set. Wow. So that's the new lightning rod. Whoa, check it out. Steve, you shouldn't try that for yourself, man. This whole house is burning down. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, goats. <laughs> Did you hear that? If you hear a sudden bad, it might be wise to watch your back. Hello. Go ba. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, what's this? Oh. Powdered snow is a chilly trap for the unwary. Use your snowproof leather boots to safely traverse and step carefully or you'll be a part of the next icy exhibit. He's frozen. What? Caves and Cliffs added many new stones into the game. Oh, that's so cool. What do you have to say? Ari, oh. I remember the days when stone was just stone. Look at all these new stone blocks. I mean, yeah, true. There are a lot of new stone blocks. They look so cool. I can't name any of them. I only know, uh... Is that deep slate or is that deep slate? I don't even know. A game. Cave parkour. Oh, Steve is fast. 46. I'm not used to all this cold. All right, here we go. Cave parkour. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. Checkpoint. Okay. Oh, it's slippery because of the ice. Okay, we did it. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Hey, that's that new music disc playing. Uh, I think it's called Other Side? Or something like that. I can't remember. Hello. You seem tired. You're gonna lose your, uh, time if you, uh, relax. Okay, let's go. That's the end? That wasn't hard at all. That'd be a lot more fun with other people, actually. That's probably why the scoreboard is there. A goat sticker! Nice! Now I guarantee there's something this way- Oh, it's just started the game, whoops. I didn't mean to start the game. That's cool that they give you another way to start it, though. That's a lot of fun. Alright, what's over this way? A big goat statue! Nice! Oh! Lush caves, axolotls, glowberries, and all these vines. Whoa. Now, would you take a look at this? What a beautiful biome. And, of course... Mobs, such as monster spawners. Yep. Don't want to find a dungeon or else those mobs are going to harm you. Oh, bats! Look at that! Oh, look at that, they changed the bats! <laughs> bats usually look way different, that is so cool! Oh yeah, bats are fairly useless. Add a touch of mystery to your underground explorations, more like, just exist. But hey, it's nothing wrong with a mob just existing, you know? Let's see. Drip leaves, yeah. You touch a drip leaf and you can stand on it for a minute, but it'll break. Which is interesting. Oh, hey, that's the parkour. Oh, that's so cool. There's an exit there. <gasps> Strongholds! Oh, yes. Strongholds are the dungeons that let you go to the end dimension, which we already saw in the dimensions part of this map. That is what the end portal looks like, and Alex is gonna light it. Or no, she's gonna eat the chorus fruit, and that'll teleport her. And now she'll light the portal. Oh, that's so cool. Can I hit the switch again? Oh, no, it just resets on its own. That's so cool. Oh, hey! That's gross! Anyways, those are spiders. Those are silverfish. Hello! Spiders, one of the very first mobs added to Minecraft. Oh, that's so cool. And silverfish are known for spawning inside of uh, strongholds with, what do you call them? 
infect infested uh, stone bricks. They're very gross. They literally live inside of blocks. It's actually kind of nasty, if you ask me. So let's keep going this way. Of course, the Eye of Ender, which you have to go to the Nether to get blaze rods. You have to kill Endermen to get Eyes of Ender to make these. And of course, the End Portal. You put those in the End Portal. You already saw Alex do it over there. That's how you go. Ooh, Library Labyrinth. So yeah, that's how you go to the end over there. There's a game down here. I want to play it. Hey, hey! Look at that. Alex beat Steve at that one. Tiptoe through the tomes, avoid the undead librarians, and gather Eye of Enders to score points. Alright, let's get some Eyes of Ender. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool view. Alright, let's go. Oh, can I not punch the zombies? Oh, it's like Pac-Man, sort of, I guess? Pac-Man, except if the orbs teleported? I guess? Okay, this is kind of interesting. This is kind of cool, actually. Wow, this is fun. Oh god, a zombie. We're okay. Are we doing good? Ow! Oh, this is kind of fun. Uh, definitely doesn't feel as intense as any of the other games. This is a little weird if you ask me, but I, I like it. Oh, when you get hit by a zombie, it takes your points away. I didn't even notice that. Oh, he's coming after me. Alright, let's go, let's go. Twenty! Ow! Stop taking away twenty! That's so painful. All right, let's go. Let's run, run, run. Oh, there's four zombies. Oh, now I get it. I bet the more zombies there are, the more points get taken away. Go, go, go! Now I get why it's so intense. Okay. Oh no! Let's go this way! Get these! Yes! Okay, we're doing so good! Suddenly I get it now, it's so addicting! Five hundred and eighty-five is pretty good! Considering Alex's highest was 220! Oh man! I nailed it! Okay, an Eye of Ender and a goat, cool. Is this one gonna be only games, or can I find... Ooh. The enchantment rooms. Oh, you guys probably know how enchantments work, of course. You surround a enchantment table with books, put some lapis in it, and you can enchant your weapons to give them good enchantments. I don't know why that, uh... Oh, hey, that's the, the maze! Can I read that? Nope. Hey, what's up, you? Noor. Hey, look over here! Ever wonder if these bookshelves hold more than just books? There could be hidden something behind the dusty covers? Oh, there's gotta be something hidden. You thinking what I'm thinking? We gotta look for the thing. I bet a switch is behind one of these books. <gasps> yes! A secret door has opened! Hey, hey, hey! Yo, you! Noor, check it out! I got an enchantment book sticker! Woohoo! Okay. What's this? Libraries. Oh, located in strongholds, yeah. So a stronghold is pretty much just a bigger dungeon. That's what it feels like, you know? Except, obviously, it's got the end portal in it, so it's a lot cooler than a regular dungeon. Okay. And... Oh, hey. Have I gone this way yet? I don't think so. Oh, we're about to get into 1.21 stuff. These paintings look so lifelike. It's almost as if you could step right into it. Copper blocks. Oh, yes. These are the copper blocks. And, of course, they oxidize. 
And we'll go from being orange to green. You know what I'm thinking, Zuri? We're gonna jump right in! <gasps> yes! Look at that! Just like Mario 64! Torch! So cool! Oh, I bet I can jump in? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Amethyst! Yes, can be used to craft this body glass, which lets you zoom in. I wish they would give me one. I would love to use it to look around. Cave spiders! Oh! Only spawn in mine shafts, yeah. A green variant of the spider that will poison you when it touches you, but it's very hard to find. Very rare. Geodes and fossils, wow. We've got bones for fossils. Oh yeah, we got a lot of fossils, wow. What are you looking at? The deep dark. An abandoned city. And in the very center lies this structure. Now we don't know for sure, but if you ask me, it looks like it's in the shape of a portal. So who knows, maybe Minecraft 1.22? The Deep Dark Dimension update is what I'm hoping for. Minecart Mayhem. Alright, Steve is the best at this one. Dodge and wave through a barrage of minecarts in a high-speed survival challenge. Let's do it! Alright, I'm ready. Dodge the minecarts. Oh! Oh, this shouldn't be hard. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! I'm doing good! Ha! Huh, I thought I could punch it and explode it. I was wrong. Let's go here. 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 Uh-oh, here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're alright. Uh-oh. If two of them appear at once, it's over. Creepers. What's the deal with creepers? Are they different? Oh, I've already beaten Steve's score, so let's just see how long I can go now. Oh, I got the strategy. Watch this. One block jump. I got the strategy down. Uh oh, that's a little fast, isn't it? Uh oh, we're good, we're good. I keep almost jumping in front of them. We're okay, we're okay. Yes, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Oh, I gotta start jumping way earlier. It's gonna get challenging. Two whole minutes is pretty intense. I bet you guys are on the edge of your seats right now. <laughs> you know what? Two minutes? I will take it. Oh, what sticker was that? A TNT sticker, nice. Okay, we already got most of the uh, stickers actually. That's that's very awesome. That has to be my favorite mini game down here so far. That was a lot of fun. Although obviously, oh, there's an amethyst fossil right there. I mean, not fossil sticker. Yeah, um, that was probably my favorite one so far. That was a lot of fun. And oh yeah, here are the geodes that amethyst uh, spawns in. Super nice looking. Oh, the cave spiders. We're backtracking. Let's go this way. There's more that way, I believe? Yeah! Oh, deep dark! Ride the elevator down and explore the depths of the deep dark. But what about all the redstone? Ooh! What, can, I, can I touch any of the redstone? No. Looks like we got no choice but to enter the deep dark. Are you guys ready for this? Now, if you thought the nether or the end were scary, get ready for the scariest part of Minecraft that we have today. The deep dark. 
check it out. It's so far underground. Oh, hey, we can play a game. Dig down. Grab your trusty pickaxe and put your mining skills to the test. Okay, sounds good. Uh, am I just gonna have to mine? Is that it? How fast do I have to... Oh, okay. This is, uh, easy enough. There's lava there, okay. Uh, end portal, what do I do? Okay, I have to dig around it. Alright, I'm slow, I'm slow. It's fine. Okay, I take no fall damage. Oh my goodness. No, what's happening? I'm in the water, so it's slowing down my mining. Oh, 26 sec. <laughs> what? Was that really it? You call that a mini game? <laughs> okay. That had nothing to do with the deep dark, by the way. Uh, this way is the deep dark. Because you can see these guys in their suits. They can't touch any of this stuff or else it'll infect them and turn them evil. There's the warden, the scariest mob in Minecraft. He comes out of the ground and chases players, if you didn't know. There's some remnants of the old city. Here's what the warden's face looks like on a sticker. Nice! The warden is Minecraft's formidable underground guardian. Lurking in the deep dark, this blind but sensitive creature responds fiercely to the vibrations and noises. There he is! And there he goes! What a cool mob! That's got to be the coolest mob in Minecraft. Check it out. When you get close to these, they will set off their signals to make the warden come out of the ground. So it really is sound based. That's how you find the warden underground. Of course, uh, there's deep slate underground, you know. And that's actually a reinforced deep slate that you can't mine and you can't craft and... You know what else you can't mine or craft? An end portal frame. Therefore, I believe that the Deep Dark's portal can be opened. There's just not an update to do it yet. Oh yeah, Skulk sensors. So yeah, they really do send off vibration frequencies to make the Warden come out of the ground. Oh yeah, each time you uh, kill a mob near Skulk, It'll actually spread. Watch this. You see how it spread on the ground? That is so cool. What is that? Oh, I think it's a compass. I forget what it does, though. Does it say anywhere? Oh, the chicken is a paid actor? Okay, that's good. <laughs> no chickens were truly harmed. That's good. Um, Where can I see... Can I go up here into the- Oh, there's the portal I was talking about. Come on! You can't tell me that's not a portal. It's made out of that block. There's gotta be a way to get inside of there, and I'll figure it out one way or another. How many stickers have I got? Most stickers. Okay. So we're still missing a few. Hello there, sir. Uh, let's see. Is there one in the game area? I mean, there's a whack load of ores, so maybe it's around here. No, it is not. Oh, wait, can I just go? Oh, no, I can just take a look at the mine. That's cool. There's the hole that I mined. Ah, oh, that's awesome. So, where are the rest of the stickers? I guess they're hidden. All right, let's head out of the deep dark. This is such a cool elevator, I love it. <gasps> diamond! Yes! I found the diamond! Awesome! 
Uh, I'm not sure if there's another one down there. But I doubt it. I doubt they would put more than one sticker in the same area, so let's head back this way. You think there's a bone sticker? Maybe. Maybe there's a sticker inside of this game? Can I jump down? No. What stickers are we really missing? There's that, which looks like a bat. And that, which looks like an emerald. Okay, a bat and an emerald. Alright, that's easy enough. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay. A bat and an emerald. Let's uh, exit out of this place then. Head back this way. I know where the bat and the emeralds are. Over this way. Bats, check it out. Tons of bats. Can I jump down? No. That's okay. Look at the bats. Now where can I find the bat sticker? That is the question. Is there something behind here? No. That's so funny. There's so much to the underground caves in Minecraft nowadays, it's amazing. I'm surprised they haven't shown anything from the 1.21 update besides the uh, copper blocks. Although I know copper blocks weren't added in 1.21, I'm just saying. It would be cool if they actually showed off the new uh, dungeons they're adding. Can I jump up here? No. Oh, I can jump. No? How do I play that minigame again down there? Maybe there's a sticker down there I'm missing? Come on. Where are the stickers? Library, I see. What happens if I go in the exit? Will that just take me out of the whole section? You've visited all the areas! What a journey! I'm still missing a few stickers! Thank you for celebrating 15 years of Minecraft with us. We hope you had fun. I did. It was so much fun. I've had a wonderful time creating this project and appreciate reviews. Let us know what you think! If you had fun, consider checking out more Orville Studios content on the Marketplace to support us. Well, I definitely will now! That was so fun! Here's to more 15 years of crafting, mining, and endless creativity. Happy birthday, Minecraft! Wow. What a map. You know, this was just... so fun. I'm not even done. I don't know why I'm saying it like I'm done. Oh. Grab a slice of cake and relax, or collect all the stickers and top the leaderboard records. Yeah, well, that's what I'm definitely gonna do. Oh, and there's so much more cake than before. Can I eat any of it? Nom, nom, nom. I can pretend to. Alright, Ghast. We still gotta find the last few stickers, because I'm nearly done. I nearly got all of them. I'm so, so close. I can almost taste it. 